This is Andre Rickenley. So look at that. Hey yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Like and subscribe and don't leave a nasty comment or I'll punch you in the face. And today I'm gonna do a bonus vlog. Um, in case you saw my Real Madrid video, they made a whole video about me and posted it on their channel. And today I'm gonna explain you how it happened and why they chose me for this video. This is just the beginning. When I was younger, I played a lot of football. Football is still a big passion for me. And in 2008, I had the chance to walk in with the Netherlands into the soccer game next to a professional football player. And that was insane. I mean, I was nine years old then and it was just a crazy experience. So yeah, football has always been a big passion of mine. When I was 13, I had to choose between football and free skiing because it wasn't possible to do both at the same time. If I would have moved forward with football I would have like three times training a week and a game on the weekends so I had to decide it was really hard but my heart was going for free skiing because it was just the biggest passion for me bigger than football my whole family skied and we live next to locks and have a perfect snow park so yeah I decided with 13 I'm gonna go for free skiing and from that moment I knew I wanna be a professional free skier. I never regret the decision that I choose free skiing over football, but sometimes I ask myself how far I would have gone in football and what I would have achieved. But yeah, no, I think it's, it was the right decision because I wouldn't be here making videos for you guys if I was a footballer and making videos is a big passion for me. It's free skiing and making videos and both of this together makes it my, my, my big passion. Maybe you remember my first parkour video. Like before the parkour video, I broke my collarbone, missed out the first World Cup, I was sad. Six weeks after I broke my collarbone, I thought I'm gonna do a video how I train and how we free skiers train. I mean, it's super important that we have a good balance and also coordination. So I thought, all right, let's post this video. I was not sure if this video is interesting to anyone but I posted the video and then overnight this video went viral. It got, I don't know how many million views but it, yeah it was just crazy. The year later I wanted to do another parkour video and I wanted it to go viral again. I was a really big Ronaldo fan and at that time he played still uh, in Real Madrid. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna do a video, the parkour video with the Real Madrid shirt on. I saw on the Real Madrid Instagram, they posted sometimes photos and videos of their fans. And I thought, if my video goes viral, I might get reposted by Real Madrid. Yeah, so 
I did the second parkour video, it went viral, Real Madrid saw the video and they actually reposted the video, which was insane. After that they sent me my own shirt with my own name on the back. I also did a few videos in locks on top of the mountain with the shirt on and they reposted that video as well which was again super crazy. I got closer in contact with Real Madrid, um, especially with Guzman, he was at that time the Real Madrid social media manager and he's also a skier and he wants to do a video with me, with Real Madrid and it's gonna be about me, but I never thought that this is gonna be possible because man, I'm, I'm just a free skier and I mean Real Madrid is the biggest football club in the world so why should they do a video about me? But then it happened. Another thing that I consider very important is that he is always very focused. It's not only the physical skills that you have to train, you have to work on the mental side, so that on the spot you can, you can deliver. I always wanted to win if I played video games with my brother, but I really see his his mindset that's crazy he never gives up and he always wants to win and just he's a winner type yeah in april this year the whole team came to silva plana and um, it was like three guys It was the last World Cup of the season and they decided they want to film this one as well for the video. And eight weeks before I got injured at the X Games, I torn my MCL and yeah, it was just eight weeks later, I wasn't 100%, but I really wanted to end the season well and I also wanted to make a good result because of the video. So yeah, there was a little bit of pressure, but yeah, I believed in myself and it happened, man. I won the last World Cup of the season. I mean, that's, yeah, was just crazy. In this video, they wanted to show what connects me and Real Madrid. And one thing is, like, to perform the best under pressure. I mean, in Silva Plana, I, I, I crashed my first run. I was under a lot of pressure, but I believed in myself and landed my second run and won it in the end and also Real Madrid if they play a final I mean you are under pressure you know you have to win the game to win the title and yeah that's what that yeah and that's very similar to my word hard work beats talent that's for sure because the talent alone is not enough and it's not what brought me here it's the hard work that's what brought me here Also for example when I'm in the gym and I am not super motivated, I wake up in the morning, I feel a little bit tired and I feel like yo I don't know I don't want to do squats with 120 kilograms but you just have to do it. it like it, life is not that easy as it looks like you have to push through and if I do my stuff and just push through then after that I, I know all the time I will have that good feeling. After the Corvatsch World Cup, the three camera guys came to my home here in Flims. We finally made it home. Welcome to my house. Yeah. 
They interviewed my mom, my brother, my manager Marius, my sister. Ich bin besonders stolz, wo wir haben von mir gelernt Skifahren. It was quite early when we realized that there is something special. Yeah, he was always very, very good. Die Inspiration für den André ist Real Madrid. Das ist eine so eine fokussierte Mannschaft. Sie sind so ein starkes Team. Sie haben so ein großes Ziel und verfolgen das. Und das ist eigentlich die Inspiration, wo der André auch in seinem Sport hat. He has the potential to to compete like on that level he's doing now. I know back in the days we were like challenging all the time about everything in football, tennis, skiing. And we also went up on the mountain in Lax and filmed some stuff with the shirt on and with yeah with some football videos and yeah it was just an amazing time. Then they told me that I am invited to go and watch a Real Madrid game in Madrid. So me and my manager Marius went to Madrid in spring. It was just an incredible feeling. When I look back at this, it's crazy. It started with a parkour video. With a parkour video. I didn't even know if that video would go viral. And then after, I got reposted by Real Madrid. I'm a free skier from Switzerland, Flims. 4,000 people live here. And I get posted by the biggest football club. I mean, that just showed me one more time, everything is possible, everything. Always believe in your dreams, work hard and achieve your goals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe. Peace.